Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. This is my second YouTube video for the day. Earlier today I did a, a YouTube video discussing my uh, religion, my uh, salvation, whatever. Uh, basically just helping clear the air of any confusion that um, people might have about my salvation, whether I'm truly saved or not. And, uh, now, since I'm no longer going on this camping trip, I would like to talk to you guys about the very first chapter of my new YouTube series called My High School Days, spelled D-A-Y-Z. I'm aware that's not how days are spelled. I wanted to do that to get your attention. So, the very first chapter is going to discuss picking the right high school. Well, a number of years ago, I was, you know, still, you know, I mean, still living with my parents now, but back then I was, you know, living with my parents, and my parents were trying to find a good high school for me to go to. I had just recently graduated from middle school at Winter Haven Christian School. Let me tell you right now. The only thing that embarrasses me about my middle school graduation was just the fact that when I was given the speech, I decided to slump over the podium. Well, I made up for that in high school when I gave my uh, salutatorian, or I gave the valedictorian speech since the valedictorian didn't want to do it. I went up there, and I big time improved since I was a preteen. I guess you could even say, or just, I had just become a teenager. So it shows how far I've come, you know, over the years. And even these days, public speaking, I do even better than I did in high school. And I thought I did a good job in high school, but I'm sure I could do even better these days. But anyway, um, my uh, parents wanted to find me a really good school. Well, someone told me about Candlelight Christian Academy down in downtown Lake Wales. I don't remember who did, but someone suggested that I should go there. So it was the very first school I checked out. We went down there. You know, it was built into First Baptist of uh, Lake Wales. It wasn't the greatest. I'm, oh, you guys shouldn't know. What I was trying to say is, well, you know, it, was, it wasn't the greatest condition. Because unfortunately, it was built into an old church that no longer exists. I shouldn't even say First Baptist of Lake Wales. I don't remember what it was called. And um, my uh, parents kind of took one look at it and went, eh, it doesn't look like the kind of environment our son will grow up well in. And, um, you know, I'm just talking to the principal. I'm talking to the vice principal. And it sounded to me like... They did a really good job working with the kids there and um, all that. I try not to judge a book by its cover. I like to get to know the book before I decide, well, do I want to judge it or not kind of deal. So anyway, we uh, checked out that high school and then we checked out another one that my mom found out about from a parent, I'm assuming, or a teacher about Haven Christian Academy, now known these days as Oasis Christian Academy. So we went down there, and, you know, it was a much nicer looking school, and it seemed like it was a pretty promising school, so my parents were like, well, we're going to put them in here. So I ended up um, attending that high school for the very first uh, year, and here comes the even crazier part. The swine flu hit when I was in that school, so... While we're running around these days wearing masks and worrying about getting vaccinated and catching COVID, back then I had to go from when uh, the swine flu was going on, every single classroom I went to, I had to use hand sanitizer. It was insane. And I thought that was bad. And, well, you can tell it's gotten a lot worse <laughs> since then. And, uh, you know, thank God I'm not uh, technically going to school in person these days of COVID going on. But even then, I don't even know what it's like to go to college right now 
or even school for that matter, except for the fact that I have to wear a mask. And I only know that because when I go to Bible study on Monday nights, we have to wear a mask inside the building. But that's the only time that I know of that I have to uh, wear a mask, and that's the only thing that I ever have to do. As far as do they have different school policies or procedures that are done throughout the day, I don't know. I just remember when I was in ninth grade, I had to use hand sanitizer every single time I went into a new classroom. Yes, uh, not very fun. But more or less, that was uh, the uh, very first chapter behind... Uh, my high school days, uh, the very first year is not going to be that great because of the fact that I just, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing you guys for when I start going to Candlelight. Then it's going to get really good. It's going to get interesting. So, you know, just bear with me. We'll um, get through the uh, very first year. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the very first year. So what I had in mind was the very first chapter was going to discuss how I um, got into the high school that I did. And then the second chapter, I'm going to do orientation. The third chapter, I'm going to talk about what it was like going to classes and all that fun stuff. Uh, the fourth chapter, I was going to talk to you guys about my two electives I took that year. That was the very first time I ever took electives. There are basically classes that you want to take. And um, I really want to talk to you guys about um, the uh, theater class or the acting class that I was in that particular year, as well as the cooking class and how the two kind of intertwine. But yet, between the two, I prefer the theater and the acting class overall, just because I'm very passionate about acting. And then I'm going to go into another chapter to discuss... The computer, um, <clears throat> sorry, computer editing class that I took the next year. I also wanted to like to talk to you guys about the most unusual high school project I've ever had to do, besides the geometry town I did later on in high school. I would like to talk to you guys about a poetry notebook that I did uh, back in ninth grade. So that'll be another chapter, and then I believe for my final chapter, I'm going to basically talk about what it was like leaving there, and um, more or less kind of the uh, kind of feeling. I, I was honestly really upset about leaving. I posted a lot about it. I ended up growing to like the school a lot more than I expected. And, um, you know, I was I was sad about leaving, and most people were like, we're going to see you guys see you again in a few months, and I knew already before the semester is even over, that I wasn't going to be going back to that school. And that's another chapter I would like to talk to you guys about. I would like to talk to you guys about the learning development class I was in called Launch. It was for special ed students like myself. And I just w really want you guys to understand where my mindset was at in ninth grade versus now. With a GP of 4.0, I'm still... And shock that God has helped me come such a far, long ways since I was, let's see here, 2009. I was 16 years old, so just in the past 12 years, how far I've come. It's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I've been uh, watching uh, the football game tonight. Oh, cool, they're both tied. That's fun. Yeah, I was uh, watching the uh, Bengals win earlier. That that was a good game. I thoroughly enjoyed that. While trying to do history, I know it was not very smart, but <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I really want to see the Bengals go to the Super Bowl. And right now it's the San Francisco 49ers versus the LA Rams, so I want to see the 49ers go. I think that would be a good game to watch. And two weeks. But, um... Yeah, I figured you guys would, uh... Like to know... Kind of roughly... What happened to me over the years, and... How I've come such a long way since I was 16 years old. But... I will see you guys in the next vlog, which more than likely I'm going to do tomorrow. 
at some point, because the nice thing about my days off right now, while I'm getting two, three days off a week, is the fact that I have more time to work on my YouTube channel. And still get schoolwork done, and still relax, so. That being said, I will see you guys in the next vlog, and always remember, you can do all things through Crisis Strengthens You. Have a great night, peace out.